Two years ago, I created a video called Making Artificial Muscles, Robot Arm Build, and I showed a little bit of a robot arm that I was working on, and then I tried to create a muscle that could be used to, you know, pull on one of the fingers. Um, the robot arm itself wasn't the best. It was good hands, don't get me wrong, I learned a lot from it, but it wasn't the best, and the muscle was even worse. Uh, if you remember at the end of the video, the muscle I was trying to make ended up exploding. Uh, just, you know, it, it, it caught fire and that's not usually what you want out of a muscle. You want something that actually works. So this entire video is going to be about making a muscle, one that works, one that can contract and expand an actual functioning muscle. To go along with this new muscle that we're going to make, I created another robotic hand entirely out of TPU, uh, which you will see in this video. Uh, just a simple hand that we can easily use to test different muscle designs, compare them with each other, and uh, build upon. This is the robotic hand. If you remember, uh, I built this a while ago, and it, um, it, it doesn't really work. I mean, it, it works, but it, it, it had its limitations. I mean, this is a very difficult to bend over long periods of time. One of the pieces kind of snapped off. You know, it, it, it just it didn't really end up being that well. Like, this could be, look, look at this. This could be, like, pulled and, like, separated. And as it moves more and more, the material kind of just shreds on itself. It's not very good. Um, but it was a good first try. Uh, this is the new one that I that I built. It's entirely out of TPU. Um, a little while ago, I had created um, a little finger for myself. It's a sixth finger. You can kind of just put it on your hand here. Uh, you can just get your pinky in there, and then when you bent your pinky, it would bend the finger, right? You know, like that. Um, I really like the design of this finger. I like the way it worked. So I used that design and built the new hand, this one. Now, with this new hand, I think that we're going to need a new muscle to be able to actually bend this. So uh, that's what all of this is for today. All right, now I wrote down some steps on how actually we're gonna do this, and it, re and it requires uh, two main ingredients, and I actually do not have one of the ingredients on me right now, so this test run is um, not going to be um, very conclusive of anything, but I think it will be good just to kind of try it out with the silicon mold. So the first thing we need is a two-part silicon rubber, and that's this guy right here. Uh, what we're gonna do is basically, we're gonna take this, isopropyl alcohol, 99% lab grade. We're gonna mix it, about 20, 25% of this, we're gonna mix it with our liquid silicon rubber. Uh, we're, we can mix it in probably this container. And then we will let it sit for about three to five minutes, and then we're gonna pour in B, uh, this B silicon rubber mold. We'll let that sit for about three to five minutes after we stir it together. And then we're gonna pour into some of these molds. This is an open mold. Uh, so we'll, we're just gonna mold, uh, put it right in here and just let it sit in the open. We're gonna do the same thing over here as well. And then we're gonna have an enclosed mold, which will be the full thing right here. I think you can see that. Right, yeah, right, this guy. All made out of TPU, so it'll be easy for me to get it out. And then I have a really, really tiny one, because I want to see what happens if we have a really small one. Okay, so we have a small batch. There we have it. It looks very weird. <laughs> we could color it if we wanted to, but I do not think that colorant uh, would be necessarily good for our design. Um, so for now, we're just going to leave it the way it is. Let's see, we're going to do these two, and then if we have any extra, we'll do the small one. Okay, so basically, here we go. We have the coil, as well as the, um, you know, void area. And then I took, just used some hot glue, and hot glued uh, it into place. I did the same thing here, except I enclosed it. 
um, and made sure that I blocked everything off. And then I even put a string on this one so that we can attach it to stuff. Um, obviously, this is where the prongs for electricity are going to run through. And it's the same thing. It's a coil on the inside. The material does not look like it is separated at all. It has been left for over five minutes while I did this. So I'm just going to stir it again. It looks fairly clean, really good. So now we're going to just basically suck it up. Okay, we've got both parts, one open, one closed. We're going to use the open as a means to measure when we should be done with the closed one. Uh, I'll make a much larger batch uh, next time if this ends up working. Um, luckily, you know, just a very small batch because I don't believe the isopropyl alcohol will work. Uh, really not as near as good as uh, ethanol, which is what we're going to be trying next. So I did in fact test the isopropyl alcohol muscle and there really wasn't much of anything to say about it. It expanded minuscule and it ended up burning, melting. It was pretty much a complete failure, which is what I would have assumed from the IPA. The next muscle that we're going to test is the ethanol. Uh, now I'm going to show you a picture. This is a uh, quick photo that I snapped on my phone while testing the IPA muscle. And as you can see, it is glowing orange and barely expanding. This uh, expansion, while small, you can see it uh, in comparison to another muscle that I built. So it's a little bit larger, but nowhere near big enough to actually bend a finger. Um, and it does glow orange. So that is also very bad. In the next muscle that we'll try, it should hopefully be better. So this guy is the ideal, well, the idea of the muscle. So this was the, this is an old one. Uh, this one, come on, function. This one kind of worked a little bit actually uh, before it melted. I don't know, hold on. Okay, I currently have five volts running through this guy. Uh, it should start to contract here. Okay, so right now bubbles are popping because the surface ethanol is boiling off. Okay, we're pulling six watts right now. And it is contracting a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna let it rest and then we're gonna hit with 10 volts. Okay, I let it rest. And it did shrink down a little bit. It's warm, but it doesn't seem to stay too warm for too long. So the point is, is that we are going to run 10 volts through this. And we're hopefully you're going to see this guy contract in, well, like really fast. And go. All right, we're getting, ooh, we're getting like 20, like 20 watts right now. Okay, that right there is ethanol evaporating. That's a lot of ethanol evaporating. Yep, okay, it's on fire. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. Different muscle. I didn't fully get enough uh, of the material. So, it's uh, it's got a little divot in the front. But that's okay. We're gonna up it to about seven volts, and we're gonna see if this puppy expands, or if it explodes, or if it burns, or if it melts. Oh, I really hope it just expands. Oh, is it popping? Yeah, I hear, I hear little pops. I'm not seeing much change yet. Okay, it's bending. All right, let's up it to. See what we see what we can do if we up it. Whoa. We're at nine volts now. It's bending oddly in a weird way. Look at that. See, this is what we don't want. It's 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 popping. It's gonna lose its efficiency. So this can actually, so so this popping can actually be fixed if I create another coating of the of the silicon rubber. This stuff 
and I coat the outside with it, uh, a really thick coating, then it will not pop and it basically explode. But you need to have that second coating. Until I can come up with a better way to create the muscle, and until I can come up with a better way to get it to cool faster, we're gonna say that it's just it's just not what it is. It it, it is not what we want at the moment. <laughs> For a few weeks I was testing this kind of muscle and I really didn't get anything that I wanted. Uh, it seemed that I had to run a little bit too much electricity through it, uh, it seemed that it got a little bit too hot, it took a little bit too long to cool down, it wasn't running at the speed that I wanted, it wasn't running at the efficiency that I wanted, and every single time I tried testing a new design, a new specific shape of the muscle, a new wire type, uh, a different ratio of ethanol to the silicon rubber. It ended up really not working out. It seems that these kinds of muscles are really not what I'm looking for when it comes to uh, precise robotic hand movement. So I decided to do a little bit more research and I came up with another design that you're actually going to see really, really soon. And this design I uh, ended up being really, really happy with. It moves the way I want it to, and it's a really, really simple design. So we're actually going to jump right into me working on that, and then you'll see exactly what I did. And uh, I think that this shows promise, I'm not gonna lie. Last time, okay, so yesterday, I tested out this muscle, this fucking stretchy, goopy one, and it didn't really work out that well. And it got like really hot, so I made this new one. Okay, it's a weird idea. Um, I'm running two volts through it. Well, okay, sorry. I'm running three watts through it. This one, I I had a ran. I run like twelve watts. This one is only being run at three watts. And basically, it just works with the, you know, night and all wire. Uh, I bent it like, like into this shape. Um, as you know, when you apply heat through it, it goes back to normal, and uh, it's been trained to go straight. Right, so it's gonna be like. It's gonna go like that. So what I did is I took some of this uh, uh, nick uh, nickel chromium uh, nickel chrome wire. Um, what is it? Eighty gauge. You know, right here, thirty gram, uh, fifty gauge, eighty wire. This stuff, and I wrapped it. I wrapped it around this because I wrapped it around this this wire because this stuff is really good at turning electrical energy into heat energy. Um, you can run electricity directly through this to get a similar result, but I found that running this stuff around it speeds up the process. Like it makes it go way faster. So what I did, also you can solder the nickel chrome wire to like regular wire. So I wrap, wrapping it around makes it a lot easier to use. So what you do is just run about three watts you know, of power through here, and it will heat up the, uh, it'll heat up the night null wire, and then it'll expand, just like a muscle. And then when it cools down, uh, it will contract with just like a rubber band contracting it back down. Um, I did a little couple tests, this rubber band doesn't seem to be strong enough to contract it back down, but um, regardless, it still works. If I take another muscle, of the same kind, and I put it on another side. So when one contracts, it forces the other one to, well, when one expands, it forces the other one to contract down. Something like that could work. But I wanna show you, here we have it. Okay, we got, okay. We got gra ground power. Now I'm gonna turn it on, turn it on. And it starts going, we're running four watts right now through it. Starts expanding. And then I can shut it off basically whenever. So you shut it off to control when you no longer want it and run and you can run more power through it to cause it to go even faster. So then it stops, turns off. And then, like I said, the, uh, I basically just hot glued, um, what I basically just hot glued on a rubber band. Um, I'm probably going to need something stronger, but it's not hot. It cools down extremely fast. I can basically just touch it whenever. And then, it's really easy just to push back into place. When it's no longer warm, it goes right back into place. And then you can just do it again. And you basically just do it again. And then it starts going again. Look at that. I'll let it go a little longer now. I haven't, I haven't let it like contract that much. So you can contract pretty far. Stop it. 
okay it doesn't really matter i can keep them plugged in or not take it off it's already back to being lukewarm cold i can touch it fine without any problems then i can just bend it right back into place as though it never was done at all and then guess what i can do i can go ahead i can plug it back in and then i can run power through it and then look at that it just goes right on into an expansion muscle base attachment string basically works like the tendon bends down pulls it in it is in right now this is basically uh its closed state okay the electricity is going to bring it to its open state Turn on the electricity, and we watch the finger move to the open state. Now this is only five volts. <laughs> Sick. Okay, that's open state. Now it didn't open the finger all the way. It's because it's kind of moving off to the side. We want it to move like right there. Okay, now it's already back to being cold, so we can just kind of like push it back down to its closed state. There we go. <laughs> back to its closed state. And then hit it again with five volts. <laughs> I can grab it with my hand, it's not like really hot. And then open state. 